Hey, I'm Una. Welcome back to my channel. I do project planning and other related content. And today I have another video um, that is things I've used a hundred times. Makeup items I've used a hundred times. The last one I made was called probably a hundred times because I was not sure. Some of those I'm still not sure about um, because I didn't use to track uses. But over the past year, um, and like four months, I don't know. Um, I've been tracking uses like really attentively and so I have a bunch more products that I've used over a hundred times, some of them many more than a hundred times. So the reason why I didn't make an update earlier is one, I kind of forgot about it for a while and two, basically all of last year between when I made the first video and like the end of the year, like all of the products I'd used a lot were project pan items that I was already showing in videos all the time and so it seemed kind of repetitive especially when I said all my uses and um all that in my project pan videos and in my empties so a lot of items I used a hundred times and then I used up and so they never got in one of these videos but I have some items that I've used a lot and so I thought I'd put them together it's kind of a lot it's a couple more than last time um in terms of number and uh but yeah let's just get into it um, I'm going in order of uses, so the first product is one that I've used almost 300 times according to my uses. I've used this 293 times. This is my Maybelline Master Prime Shadow Base. It's decanted into um, this little container and that is all that's left. It used to be in this and um, I scraped it all out, so I probably got more product out of this than I could have reached with the little applicator in here. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to finish this up hopefully this month um, and then it will be gone with like 300 uses, which is very exciting. The next product is my Bare Minerals Bronzer in the shade Warmth. These were both in my Rolling Project Pan last year. Um, I managed to pan on it last year and I've used it 229 times that I've tracked. Yeah, um, I haven't used it since last year because uh, I'm kind of tired of it, but it's a solid bronzer. I did hit pan. I'm very excited about that. Um, the next one I can't find. I literally used it like two days ago, but it's my ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in Honey Dude. Um, it's just like a cream colored eyeliner and I've used it 142 times and there's still like a lot of product left. So I'm trying to finish this year. We'll see how that goes, especially since I've lost track of it, but um, it holds on so hard, man. It's taken forever, but um, yeah. That's that. Next, also with 142 uses, is my Just a Tint in Chaka. Um, I will show you all of the product that's left. Just that, which I don't think is that much, um, but it's honestly hard to tell. Uh, this is currently in my Partners in Cream, so that's fun. Um, yeah, and I'm also hoping to use this up this year, so very cool. Next are two items from my e.l.f. Illuminating Palette, um, the second and the third powder. Um, I've used the this kind of pinker one um, 141 times, and I've used this one 104 times. So yeah, lots of uses on both of these. Also significant amount of uses on the other two, but just not over 100 yet. So I'm hoping to finish both of them up this year also. There's a theme. <laughs> a lot of the things I've used a lot, I want to use up. Um, Next is really impressive, honestly, to me that this has this many uses in it. This is just a cream eyeshadow from my Magic Mini palette. This is shade Kessie. Um, I've used this 134 times and it does have pan. It has been repressed, but there's still like a lot of product left in here. So uh, yeah, we'll see about that. I do have a goal to use this up this year, but I'm not, I'm working on a different sh shade that's basically the same first. And um, yeah, I don't know how that'll go because it's moving very slowly at this point. Um, next is my Lunar Beauty New Year New <laughs> Lunar Beauty Moon Spell palette. Um, I have used the palette overall a hundred and thirty-two times. This is what it's looking like. I have one pan. Um, I've had a bunch of these and pan those eyeshadows. I've had Samantha, which has like a really nice dip in it. I've had Sabrina. I've had Paige, neither of which look that disturbed. Um, right now I'm working on Nancy, which has a little bit of a dip in it. Um, yeah, and with Nancy, I've been using Marnie and Fiona a lot. Um, I do really enjoy this palette. I once had this in a video called Products I Re Regret Purchasing because just the color story is pretty intense and dark. 
but um, I do really like it. I think the formula is really great. I think it's a really cool color story, even if it's not one that I like wear a lot of the shades on my face all the time. Um, I will say at this point, I probably enjoy the bottom two rows more than the purples up here, but Sabrina is really nice and um, I should probably, <laughs> I do want to get more use on this in general. I mean, getting a second pan or something this year would be great, but I'm pretty happy with that. It's, it's one of the only palettes I've used a hundred times that's not like really beat up <laughs> like, uh, and depotted because um, a lot of the palettes that I've used a lot I have like depotted and, and changed but I really like this palette and um, I'm glad I've used it a hundred times it's actually really satisfying to know. Next is my Joa lip gloss in the shade Glazed. Um, I got this free from the brand actually through Influencer and it's like my favorite lip gloss although it is looking a little bit like it's coming kind of separating so i'll try and finish it off soon i got this in 2020 um but yeah my like most recent marking um in a project was that it was down to there um and i've used this 120 times and it's always a pleasure to use it's just a really nice formula not too sticky not too anything and it's a lovely color so super happy about that one hopefully i will finish that up soon but not too soon because i do really love it um, after that is a surprise, you haven't seen this one in a while, my Colourpop Blotted Lip in Sucker. I was panning this last year, um, I got up to 118 uses, I brought it to my boyfriend's house and I lost it, and he has a very big dog, and I was like, alright, you know, I can't find it, the dog is probably gonna eat it by the time I find it, um, so that's it. And it literally, six months later, I went to his house many more times, <laughs> he was at his house many more times, his parents were there, like, he shows up in January after coming from home and he's like, oh, here's this, you left it. And I was like, yeah, like six months ago, how did you just find this? Like, were you just holding on to this this whole time? Um, but yeah, I have it back now. Um, this is really old and um, it's a great like summer, like very warm, I don't know, juicy <laughs> lip color. Um, but yeah, I've used it 118 times and I'm gonna have to work this into my panning plans this year because it's gonna be very old very soon. And um, it's good, good lip product. They don't make this anymore. They only made it for like a year anyway. Next is my NYX High Glass Primer. Now I have used this a lot, but I feel like I don't feel like I've used it a lot. Like it's relatively new to my collection. I bought it last year and um, I don't use that much of it. I don't know, I guess I just don't really notice it. But yeah, I've used this um, 115 times, um, which is pretty good as of today. Um, I did use it today and it's great it's like it's a little bit dark for me to use like all over as a face primer but I mix it into basically everything like my concealer for sure because the conceal I don't like like super dry um like liquid concealer that dries down really fast or like really severely <laughs> um so I mix this in and it makes it kind of a little bit more dewy and a little bit less drying down and um I mix it into liquid highlighter to make it a little less intense. I will sometimes mix it into liquid blush. Um, but yeah, I love this and like, I love the function it's serving. I, I really enjoy it. I, I have no idea how much was still left in here, but I, I mean, I've used it over a hundred times, so it can't be like a crazy amount, but yeah, it just, it's a dark packaging and it comes out when I squeeze it. So, um, yeah, but I'm glad that I'm getting so much use out of this because um, I don't want it to go bad or anything. And it's not like a moisturizer where you could just like use it a bunch. Um, anyway, yeah, very happy with that. Next is my Glossier Cloud Paint. This is in the shade Dusk. I got this way back in, it was one of the first makeup things I had in high school from a friend who um, was reselling it. And yeah, I've been, I panned it a bunch last year and I'm panning it again this year. And there's only like, just that much left. So um, yeah, I've used this 113 times and I feel really good about that. You can definitely tell the packaging is getting old um, and it's definitely an old makeup product. So there's that. I've been really enjoying using it. Although the super warm, I don't know if you can tell this like warm blushy color, um, not my absolute favorite for winter, but I do still like it a lot. And um, I'm hoping to finish this this year <laughs> as with many things, uh, but we'll see how that goes. 113 uses so far. The other palette I have is my ColourPop The Child palette, which I just recently passed 100 uses, like, today, I think, technically. Um, it was at 99 the other day. 
Um, this is what it's looking like. I just finally hit one pan in it, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, I have a couple other dips. I have a little bit of a dip in here, pretty big dip in right hand mando, um, and then a little bit of a dip in the force. Um, but yeah, I definitely have tended towards a couple shades when I use this palette, mainly these three. Um, I really, really like them actually. They're really great shades. Um, I don't use the mattes nearly as much especially this brown. <laughs> I feel like I never reach for it. I just like never want a brown that, that that's that red, especially when there's greens involved. Um, and I don't think I've used this peach like ever just because I have so many other peaches. It's just like never a thing. Um, but yeah, I think this is a great palette and I'm really glad I got it and I've really, really enjoyed it. And I hope that I can just show it even more love in the future. Although I just finished working on it a bunch. I just hit 100 these today, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But yeah, it's a great palette. <laughs> I highly recommend. And finally, another product that I just got to 100 uses today is my Coconut Lip Glossy in Clear. I think this was at like 60 uses at the end of last year, but um, I kind of decided for whatever reason that I was just gonna focus on this as like my lip balm this winter. And so I've been using it just a ton. And so yeah, I've gotten over 200 uses. Um, it's really nice. It's not, I have this in my collection as a lip gloss. It's not really, like, it's a, it's not not glossy at all, but it's really more of a lip balm. Um, it's really nice for winter because I can just put it on, um, it has, like, an applicator, so I don't have to use my fingers or anything, which a lot of my other lip balms do. Um, it's really, like, gentle. My lips are pretty sensitive, um, in winter, so that's nice, and I just, like, is easy to have around. I did lose this for a little bit. It wasn't in my inventory photos um, because I lost track of it, but I found it again. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to finish this this year too. Um, maybe even this winter, we'll see. It's a little bit thinner when I like squeeze it. So yeah. Oh, a gloss. I skipped over um, just a really fun fact. This is probably gonna get um, empty soon, but I've also used this mascara 102 times <laughs> and I'm very impressed. Um, I still really like it. I'm wearing it today. It's the new color Light Shine and Curl Mascara. I was given this. My my mom, like, got this from, like, her co-worker who was, like, had a bunch of extra mascaras and thought they were gonna go bad, so she gave them to me, and, um, I've been using it probably since, like, November at least, and it's really good, and I've used it a hundred times, which... Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I, especially after I had just come out off of a mascara that I used like 30 times and then it went bad and I was like, what the heck? Like a full size mascara. Um, so the, I'm very pleased with this one. Um, and I also like the way it looks. So that's a bonus. But yeah, that was kind of a boring one to end on. But those are a bunch of things I've used a hundred times. Um, I will... Now I have this in like a notes document so I can remember which ones I put in videos and stuff. Um, and I put all the uses in there at the time of this video, so that's kind of fun um, because my uses are updated continuously in my spreadsheet. Um, so this will give me a little glimpse into the past of where I was. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any products that you know you've used a hundred times. I think it's fun. It can be fun to track uses. Some people really don't like it. Totally fine. <laughs> you know, obviously whatever works for you is the best option for you. Um, but I really enjoy this. This is very clearly inspired by Too Much Tosh and Shake Geek, both of whom have 100 use type of things, 100 club, 100 uses project, um, and they keep track of that. I tried to do like a project 100 uses last year. I had like things I was trying to hit 100 uses on. I just couldn't figure out how to keep track of it versus not having things in other projects. Anyway, it just didn't work out for me and my collection, but I do like still thinking about it and looking at things every once in a while and seeing what has 100 uses. Um, yeah, it was really fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for the support. I haven't had a video go up in a really long time because I was traveling and just with projects and everything, I didn't have any time or energy to film and then edit and everything. So once I got to the end of the videos I had filmed, I was like, well, I'm gonna have to wait to find some time to film again. Um, but yeah, I should have more consistent videos now. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.